What is up you guys? It's Coco and today we are going to be having McDonald's and Burger King breakfast. <laughs> Hey guys, today I woke up really early. Actually, wasn't early. I was preparing this video since last night. I told myself I was gonna alarm, but I snoozed it. I snoozed it and I snoozed it till like 9.45 and I realized the breakfast in Burger King and McDonald's is uh, done at 10.30. So I was like freaking out. I was like doing my makeup really fast. That's why my makeup is just so simple. It's just like foundation blush and that. Um, yeah, and I rushed to the drive through of Burger King and McDonald's to get their breakfast because it was already 10 when I left home. So I was like really speeding and trying to get this food as fast as I can, you know. So yeah, got the waffle sandwiches, which is the sausage, egg, and cheese, and the bacon, egg, and cheese over here. And then I got their enormous burrito, which is big. And then on McDonald's, I got their burrito. There's two, but I only put on one here because I'm going to give the other one to my mom. It comes in twos. The sausage burrito from McDonald's. The McGriddle from McDonald's. Sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle from McDonald's, which is such a treat. That's my favorite. Um, sausage, egg, and cheese um, muffin from McDonald's. And four hash browns. I actually just said three, but they gave me four, so not going to complain about it. So really, I would want to see, and I was really thinking that I wanted to compare the waffle sandwiches from Burger King and the McGriddle from McDonald's because I feel like they have been, Burger King has been trying to compete with the McGriddle of McDonald's, I feel like, because remember the French toast sandwiches from Burger King? It was never a hit. It was there for like two months and nobody liked it. I saw some mukbangers try it. It wasn't that good. So who's gonna wanna like wake up and like try those if they aren't good? So it wasn't a hit. And that is like super close to the McGriddle too because it's like French toast and this is like French toasty too because it's like pancake and syrup inside. And now they have this waffle sandwiches that I feel like they're really trying to compete with the McGriddle. Let's try to see the comparison between the McGriddle and the waffle sandwiches from Burger King. And then we're going to try the burrito too. And then I have an extra... Um, Sausage egg McMuffin and the hash browns. I didn't get any tater tots from Burger King because I'm not a fan of tater tots. For me, it's so simple. As a drink, I have a decaf from McDonald's. Made sure it was decaf. Yum. Just black. All right. Let's go try the waffle sandwiches from Burger King first. So there's sausage in here egg and cheese it's kind of thick and it's really kind of hard it's not that soft like the McGriddle cheers it's really sweet and you can literally see there's like maple syrup dotted too inside the sandwich I told you they were copying this. Mm. The fact that the sandwich is just kind of hard. The McGriddle is soft, super soft. But this is kind of like hard. The McGriddles are soft. All right, let's try to take a bite of the McGriddle. The famous sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle is my favorite. Such a treat. Never brings you down. Never lets never lets you down. Mmm. Nope. The taste is so similar. But the texture of the McGriddle is so much better. It's softer. It blends in together because the sandwich of this is like hard. And the egg and the sausage and McDonald's is just soft. And the McGriddle is soft. Hmm. Mm -mm. Almost. Almost as the same taste, but 
My griddle is still better. Nice try, Burger King. But it's super close. Like, there's a science to this, McGriddle. This is super close. The waffle sandwiches, it's super close. Hmm. Let's try a hash brown. Hash brown from McDonald's, which is the best. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Sometimes I feel like this is better than the fries. The hash browns. I just have some salsa from McDonald's. Hot salsa. Mm. That's some good hash brown. Mm. Mm. That is so good. The hash brown is just everything. <sighs> diet. <laughs> I was going to say diet. Coffee. Decaf coffee, guys. And you know me, I don't get regular coffee now because I get panic attacks, anxiety. My heart races and I get jitters and I get really dizzy. All right, let's go to the burrito. Let's try the McDonald's burrito first. Really small, it comes in two, but I didn't open the other one. I wanna give it to my mom because she likes sausage burritos. So much egg inside but it's good I just feel like everything from McDonald's is has the specific McDonald's taste so like everything they sell is so good because it's the taste is always like McDonald's taste do you get me guys hmm that's why McDonald's is so unbeatable it just has this McDonald's taste <laughs> You know what I mean? Ah, so good. Today I woke up and it was like raining. It's cold and it's raining. It's like 60 degrees. Okay, maybe like 60-ish. But that's so cold for me. Like I'm always a cold person. Cold person. <laughs> like I'm usually so, so cold. I woke up with like a slight headache, like kind of feverish. The headache is still here. I still feel it. I took some Advil. It's not going away. Because it's like a sinus headache. I always get that when the weather is changing. And I feel like I'm getting a cold coming on. And I was like, I woke up. I was like, no, I cannot delay this. I need to get a video done. And I just took like mucinex and advil and took water and, and i put my makeup on and took off and got some mcdonald's and burger king but after this i'm gonna rest you know so i don't get sick because your girl's gotta grind i can't stop all right another bite of this waffle sandwiches from burger king mm -hmm. it's dry it tastes similar Waffle sandwich, my grill, tastes similar. This is dry, this is hard sandwich, this is soft, this is moist. I still prefer the McGrill. Mm -hmm. I'm probably not going to eat this. I'm going to give it to my mom since it's bacon and she loves bacon sandwiches. Alright, let's try the enormous burrito from... Let's try the enormous burrito from Burger King. Mmm! Mmm! Mmm, gone. Okay, look at that. It's so full. It's so big and it's so full. There's hash browns. There's hash browns. Cheese. Sausage and eggs. Whoa. The enormous burrito from Burger King is better than the burrito from McDonald's. Okay. One point for Burger King. 
McGriddle. Two points for McDonald's for the hash browns and the McGriddle. Let's put some hot salsa. This burrito is good. This is like the best burrito I've had. It's because I've never seen this before. It's because I never wake up that early either. Mmm. Look. It's so full. That's good. That's so good. Let's have another bite of the McGriddle because it's so good. I'm so sad, you guys. They don't sell this like all day anymore. They used to sell the McGriddle all day. I'm like, no. It's so good. The McDonald's McGriddle is unbeatable. It's so good to drink coffee in the morning. All right, another hash brown. Mmm. I feel like it has been 30 minutes and it's still so, so crispy. Mm. I don't think Wendy's is has good breakfast though. That's why I didn't even bother. And you know what I don't really like? The um curl sandwich from Burger King. I'm not a big fan of croissants. I don't know why. It's just too plain for me. It's just like bread. And so much calories for bread because it's like all butter and bread. But it's so plain for me. So I feel like all the time when I eat or when I have like croissants, it's just like a whole big bread of like calories. Just never a fan. But it's okay. It's good with like coffee. Or tea. Mm. I knew it. This whole entire breakfast tray. McGriddle is the winner. All the time it is the winner. Mmm. And the fake cheese from McDonald's is just, it's so fakey, it's good. <laughs> How's that McDonald's cheese taste? Coffee is so good. See, I still crave coffee. Even though I drink decaf. But I would say this, I usually go to Starbucks like every day. But having my anxiety and my anxiety kicking in when I do regular coffee, I hardly go to Starbucks now. Like I used to go to Starbucks every time before I go to school, before I go to work, in between. No, I don't. You might think, are you saving money? No. I still spend a lot of money no matter what. I'm a spender, remember? But. I've come to realize too, like how I spend my money, like smarter. Like, if I'm going to spend my money, 
I make sure it's an investment for myself or for the things that I need to do in the future. Not just for like little things. Example, I don't just like, I don't buy so much clothes anymore like I used to. I buy so much clothes because it's pretty, but it just gets stocked in my closet. Who does that, right? Usually, like, when you're young, you do that stupid crap. But now, I don't do that anymore. Like, I hardly shop clothes anymore because I have so much clothes. And you can easily, like, put clothes together and make it stylish, layers and everything. And people hardly, like, even see that you're repeating your clothes. I mean, for me, because I know how to style it. But, but what I'm saying is... I don't need more clothes. Actually, my motto when I was young, I don't want to be an outfit repeater because my favorite was Lizzie McGuire when I was a kid. And if you saw her movies and her uh, shows, she says it one time, I think in the Lizzie McGuire movie, outfit repeater. So I don't want to be ever an outfit repeater. So every time I go out, parties and everything, I have a picture of an outfit. I make sure I don't use it again. Ever. That's a stupid thing. or and That's a stupid motto, but <laughs> that used to be a motto. Like, I don't want to wear it again if people saw me wearing it already. Hmm. But that one is stupid because what you're spending... How much are you spending per... How much do I spend on an outfit? Let's just say... On this certain outfit, I would spend $50. 50 or 60 And you would wear it once. You'd wear $60 once. Really? That's a lot of money. I think you should wear it at least 10 times. Hmm. so good this burrito is so good too it's so flavorful i mean look at the sausage it's big there's tater tots eggs and cheese burger king one in the burrito mm. and it's so big too the, the mcdonald's one is like all eggs and the sausages is like the sausages from like a pizza <laughs> Mm. Honestly, don't have ketchup anywhere, and I'm so sad. It's hard to eat those without ketchup. The hash browns. <sighs> Yum. Hmm. I don't know, once again, I don't know what they put in this hash browns McDonald's, like crack. It's just a perfect outerness crispiness and then inside is just so soft. McDonald's killing me. So good though. McDonald's did it. Mm. It's like that perfect food that you crave. It's like that perfect junk that you crave. You know, McDonald's. Can't stop raving about McDonald's. Because it is, isn't it? And it's so cheap. Love me some decaf. Mmm. Mmm. And there's like a sauce in there. That's like really good too. Mm hmm. I'm gonna give this maple bacon. And this to my mom. Whatever she likes. Oh, and this too. Because I can't finish it. Do you expect me to finish all this? No. I'm gonna be so fat. 
Alrighty guys, I'm super full. I am going to be taking these sandwiches upstairs because I know my mom's going to want to eat this with coffee. So, this is not going to go to waste. Don't worry. I don't waste food. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.